An agreement is giving Boise access to over 3,000 acres in the foothills. And it's all to build a new trail system off of Bogus Basin Road. Lauren Johnson is in studio with the details. Hey, Donna Michelle, Mayor Beter announced the exciting news overlooking the foothills where the proposed 12 miles of trails would link Polcat Gulch to the Boise front. Why we uh, love the city that we live in. That's why we, uh, it's such an honor to serve. At the top of the world, or so it seemed today, Mayor David Beter made an announcement he said was decades in the making. Around 12 miles, they think, uh, of, of trails. But the, the property that, that we'll have access to and through is 3,300 acres. It's all made possible because of the Grossman family. They own a family real estate business, as well as the almost 3,300 acres that would accommodate the 12 miles of trail through the Boise foothills, providing links from Polcat Gulch to Stack Rock. To know that access uh, will exist forever for our children and their children is just uh, an amazing day for all of us. From hikers to cyclists and even horseback riders, access to these trails will let everyone enjoy the foothills. Informal uh, network of trails and formalize them and then maintain them through a uh, ridge to river system. Even motorized mobility devices used by those with disabilities and emergency vehicles would be allowed on the trails. Boise Parks and Recreation Director Doug Holloway explains how the trails would connect. In the lower foothills, this Polcat Gulch, which is, which is a very popular reserve for us, up into the Daniels Creek area, and then again gets us into Hidden Springs and gets us all the way up potentially to Stack Rock. So this is a, a real major uh, connection for a number of activities. The agreement is permanent. Grossman will still own the land worth over $7 million, but now those in the gem state get to enjoy the land for free. It, we've been talking to the Grossman family for the better part of 10 years on how we might uh, acquire it. Uh, but this news is uh, it's granted to the public an easement forever uh, for nothing. The city council must still approve the trails to make it official. The proposal will be considered tomorrow at the regularly scheduled city meeting. And if approved, creating the trails would begin immediately and they'd be built over the next two years. Live in studio, Lauren Johnson.